Hi guys, it's been a while. Today I'm gonna talk about language school in Japan. This video is for people who are interested in learning Japanese in Japan. Today's content is this. What is language school? Options after graduating school. I picked up a few schools to demonstrate to you what is the cost, where you can study, and so on. What you need to consider before planning studying abroad in Japan. What is language school anyway? Ranji School is a school where you can study Japanese in Japan. You can choose a term between six months and two years. You could study a year, you could study two years. It's all up to you. Ranji Schools are suited for people who want to study Japanese from scratch or people who want to study in Japanese college. And of course, you can live in Japan. You get a student visa to study in Japanese Ranji School. Also, you can work part-time job. As I listed, in order to be a language school student, you have to complete 12 years of general education in your native country. These are examples after learning Japanese. For some people, going to higher education in Japan such as university or grad school could be an option after graduating language school. Learning anime and designs in Tokyo, learning Japanese culture in rural area of Japan, finding a job in Japan after graduating language school, let me talk about school example. Of course, there are so many schools you can choose from, but I just picked up three schools. First one is International Study Institute. Second one is Hume Academy. Third one is Ishishi Japanese Language Institute. Let me look at the ISI. ISI has five locations you choose from. Three sites in Tokyo, and one in Kyoto, and one in Nagoya. Price is 850,000 Japanese yen annually. Good thing about ISI is that you can get good job search support after graduating. Human Academy, there are two schools in Osaka and in Tokyo. This is actually a little bit pricey. It costs 220,000 yen per month. So what is, what is good about Human Academy? They provide you online classes and it is way cheaper than actual face-to-face -face classes. Ishishi Japanese Language Institute, you can choose locations from Tokyo, Nagoya, Kobe. Price is the cheapest among the list, 764,000 yen annually. Ishishi provides you many opportunities to communicate with locals. So if you are interested in learning Japanese, also interacting with locals, Ishishi is the way. Alright, this is the final section of the video. In this section, you know what you need to consider before planning your study abroad plan. Locations, budget, purpose to study, duration, starting date. Those are things you need to decide. Locations. This is where do you want to study because a lot of people go to Tokyo to study Japanese but you don't need to be in Tokyo because it is kind of expensive. For people who want to experience traditional way of Japanese life, you could go to Kyoto or you could go to rural area of Japan. And good things about going to those areas, not Tokyo, is you can save a lot of money. Budget is not only about tuition fee. It is also about where do you want to live. You could choose homestay, you could choose shared house, or if you want to live in your own apartment. There are so many options to choose from depends on your budget. Purpose to study. This is very important. There are so many foreigners coming to Japan to study Japanese, but their motives to come to Japan are different. Do you want to find a job after graduating language school? Or you want to pursue higher education in Japan? Or you want to study Japanese? to pass JLPT. Duration. Do you want to study just six months or do you want to study two years to improve your Japanese? Starting date. If you want to study a year, usually school will start from April. But if it's not a one year program, you can choose a starting date from July or November or January. It depends on the school. About the procedure of getting student visa or how to enroll schools, I'm gonna prepare different videos. And for people who want to get more details, I prepare the contact form over here so you can click on that. Through contact forms, you can give me inquiry. We're gonna keep uploading the videos about how to be a student in Japan or how to start business in Japan. So I want you to leave your comments over here. Press that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. See you in next videos.